The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Starting now on UMass Sports Insider, it was an eye-opening football season for the UMass offense, led by a quarterback and wideout who put up record-breaking numbers. We'll show you how this dynamic duo moved near the top of the national leaders in several major categories. And you'll meet the newest member of the women's basketball coaching staff, who has picked up the whistle and moved to Amherst after finishing one of the greatest careers in her sports history. Plus, we go around the town with one of the hockey team's leading scorers, a Western Mass native who gets to play his college career only minutes from his roots. Proving that home is where the heart is, UMass Sports Insider, let's start it up. You're watching UMass Sports Insider, presented by Office Depot Office Max, Alden Credit Union, Mopre Commerce Insurance, Mohegan Sun, and Coca-Cola. It's been another strong start to the season for UMass men's basketball as the squad has navigated a treacherous non-conference schedule to compile some impressive early wins. Now as the pace of games calms down in December, the team will try to keep things rolling while also taking advantage of some downtime to take care of business in the classroom. Welcome to our first December edition of UMass Sports Insider. I'm your host, Josh Maurer. Coming up, we'll look back at some highlights from some of those UMass Hoops victories, plus Coach Kellogg takes us into the film room to break down some plays. To start, though, we recap an amazing season put together right here on the gridiron by a pair of Minutemen playmakers, a transfer quarterback and junior wide receiver who together combined to help almost rewrite some of the single season record books. With more, here's Joe Duty. During Mark Whipple's first stint at UMass, the Minutemen turned in some of the best offensive seasons in program history. The groundwork to duplicate that success in Whipple's return to Amherst was laid long before the team took the field for a game this fall. You know, just coming in with a whole nother mentality, uh, starting in, in the summertime, you know, working with the guys each and every day, you know, just, just that hunger to succeed. You know, uh, the new coaching staff brought in a, a new mentality, uh, a new way of doing things around here. So everybody just kind of brought in and, you know, we, uh, we just wanted to win so bad. It, uh, it, it made us work that much harder. Quarterback Blake Fronapple came to UMass as a graduate student transfer looking for an opportunity. It didn't take long for he and junior wideout Tajay Sharp to get on the same page. One day during camp, we just we kind of just kept scoring touchdowns. It was kind of like every other play we were scoring and kind of everyone was kind of laughing and everything. And it's kind of figure out then and we had potential to kind of they were to really put up some points. Fronapple finished fourth in the nation in passing yards per game. He led the MAC with over 3,300 passing yards despite missing the final two games of the season with a leg injury. We sensed the leadership right away. Uh, we sensed the type of you know person he was first off, and then uh, as well as what type of player he is on the field. Uh, you, you just kind of know what you're going to get from uh, week in and week out, and uh, you don't expect uh, anything but, but great things when, when you're playing with him on the field. Thrown apple, a shotgun snap, throws it over the middle, it's caught. Tajay Sharp in space, and he puts on the afterburners, and Sharp is gone. Sharp led the Mac in receptions and receiving yards, and his 85 catches and 1,281 yards were the second most in a single season in program history. In both categories, he moved past NFL receivers and former Minutemen standouts Brandon London, Julian Talley, and Victor Cruz in the UMass career record book. It's just extremely humbling to be, uh, you know, just mentioned in the same breath with those guys. Uh, you know, they were extremely important to this university and uh, have gone, gone on to uh, do great things. So, you know, uh, it's, it's extremely humbling and uh, it makes you just, just want to work that much harder, you know, being on the list with those guys. It's, uh, it's an honor. Three times this year, Sharp tied the school record for catches in a game with 13. A member of the Bolitnikoff Award watch list, Sharp finished fifth in the nation in receiving yards. The New Jersey native needs just 22 catches next season as a senior to become the Minutemen all-time leader. He's a tough guy to cover, and he caused a lot of problems with DBs. And you know, I know if it's you know, fourth down, you know, if we're going for it, which was a lot this year, that um, you know, if I, if I look at him, look this way, that you know, I think there's a pretty good chance that we're going to convert it. September 27th, homecoming against Bowling Green and the first true home game for UMass in nearly three years. Back to pass being hit, Fronapple throws for Sharp, and Sharp makes the catch for the touchdown. Fronapple and Sharp spearheaded the Minutemen to 589 passing yards, shattering the program's single game record. I think during that week kind of all came together. 
we expected a great turnout, which we got from our crowd. You know, they had our, they had our back. You know, the whole season and especially throughout that whole game, they brought a, you know an electric feel to the to the stadium. So we kind of fed off them. Fronapple going deep once Tajay Sharp again near the goal line. Touchdown! With the bulk of the offense returning intact next year, including Fronapple and Sharp, there's no reason to believe the Minutemen won't be able to challenge their own records in 2015. We all know that there's, that there's plays being made and we could have made those plays and we didn't. I think that's something that will help drive us through the offseason and workouts and you know, finishing workouts and make sure we get the extra rep. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Joe Duty. Thank you, Joe. Blake and Tajay each plan to return to UMass for their senior seasons next year, a fact that has UMass looking like one of the preseason favorites in the MAC heading into 2015. Well, we switch sports now to hoops, where the UMass women's team has a new face on the bench this season. Simply put, she's one of the legends of her sport. From the Olympics to the WNBA, Yolanda Griffith has been one of the greats of her time, and now she's trying to spread some of her skill set to a young Minute Women team. With more, here's Cody Cruchel, as Mafre Commerce Insurance presents In the Bunker with Yolanda Griffith. Following a playing career that spanned the better part of two decades, Yolanda Griffith is enjoying a change of pace as the newest member of the women's basketball coaching staff at UMass. We had the snowstorm, what, a, a couple of days ago, maybe, what, three, four days ago, and I took a photo and sent it to a couple of friends that live in Florida. They was like, oh, my God, it's gorgeous. It was amazing. While basketball has taken Griffith around the globe, she made a name for herself during an 11-year career in the WNBA. Standing 6-3 at forward from the Sacramento Monarchs, Yolanda Griffith. Her rookie season, she was named the league's most valuable player and defensive player of the year. Five years and two Olympic gold medals later, the Chicago native was named the MVP of the WNBA Finals in 2005. Once her playing career ended, Griffith turned to coaching. Her first job came at Dartmouth, where she was hired by former Big Green head coach and current UMass assistant Chris Welgis. We all knew who Yolanda Griffith was. It's like saying, do you know who Michael Jordan is? I mean, in the women's basketball world, she was that big a name. After spending last season as the top assistant at Lafayette, Griffith joined the UMass coaching staff this past fall. As I was playing and playing at a different level, having to be a mentor and uh, be a leader and a captain, um, when I got to the WNBA, kind of realized that the game was uh, giving me a lot and I just wanted to, you know, get back to the game. As enormous as she was in the game of basketball, as great a player as she was, uh, she was really good at, at teaching the game of basketball. Uh, when she had left the pros, she had her own training with Yo, and she trained all levels, from little kids all the way up to pros, um, and she could break down the fundamentals and teach it. We're here. Boom, as soon as you fake and she goes, boom, now you're here, okay? This opportunity happened. It was a great opportunity being, um, you know, being an assistant coach, still giving back to the game, but also learning from two legends in uh, women's basketball. I just wanted to continue to grow, and I felt, you know, coming to UMass would be the, the perfect fit. I mean, her resume speaks for itself. That's, it's extraordinary to read everything that she's accomplished, but I knew from working with Chris Welgis that Although she has that resume, she's very humble, um, she's a great role model, loves the game of basketball, loves to give back to the game of basketball, and just loves being around you know, college age kids in order to help them, yes, get better at basketball, but to grow as people. So I knew she was that type of person. I knew I wanted to work with her. Last summer, Griffith was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. But before that, she raised two daughters while playing professionally. And that balance of family and basketball has helped Yolanda as she embarks on her coaching career. You know, you're a mentor, you're a parent, you're a coach. And then it's uh, the balancing act. Um, it's uh, 12, 13 different personalities. So you got to learn every player's personality on top of being a parent to your own children. Um, so again, it was, it's a balancing act, but you know, it's, it's been pretty good so far. That dribble needs to go somewhere. So if you get it here, you want, boom, now I'm here. So you gotta go somewhere with the dribble. While she's all business on the court, Griffith has a lighter side off it. She's goofy. <laughs> um, I think a lot of times when you see her on the court, she's very serious. But uh, when she gets away and we're doing like things off the court, she's goofy, she's funny. Um, she dances around as tall as she is, as long as she is. She, she throws up some dance moves and tries to keep the mood light. She loves 
educating and she loves basketball. So this is, this is probably the one and only job that she'd be happy doing. I think her impact is through and through. Her enthusiasm and love of the game is contagious, and I think that's much more contagious. Honestly, you can watch a couple of tapes and nail down defense. That's God's truth. But you can't take an enormous personality and a woman of integrity like that and, and, and not have her impact in the, in the areas that's important. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel. Thank you, Cody. With Yolanda on the bench, the men and women have already shown some signs of big improvement early in the season. Sharon Dolly's squad has been playing four true freshmen, and the future appears bright for that program. Well, it's time for us to take a quick break here on UMass Sports Insider. Don't go far away. When we get back, we'll look at some highlights from the men's basketball team, reliving some big moments from the early portion of the schedule. We're balling next. We've been receiving a lot of comments from our customers recently telling us how wonderful their experiences are and how Alden takes the time to listen to and understand their banking needs. It makes us feel good about what we do. Alden provides innovative banking products and great rates every day. So come into Alden today for a better tomorrow. Alden's here and we love to listen. Alden, banking, no boundaries. Life. It's not measured by the breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Life is the unlimited possibilities all around us. It's the interesting people we meet, the epic places we see, the incredible memories we create. Life is always going on. All you have to do is choose to live it. Full of life, Mohegan Sun. UMass was voted the best hotel in Amherst. Situated on the beautiful University of Massachusetts campus, Hotel UMass is where you stay to be in the heart of it all. With 116 contemporary guest rooms, free wireless internet, room service, 36 meeting rooms, free parking, and in walking distance to downtown Amherst, Hotel UMass has it all. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back for today's Mohegan Sun Instant Replay. We're going back to some early season wins for the Minutemen on the hardwood as Coach Kellogg's team picked up some resume building victories that may very well come in handy come March. Let's take a look. Here's UMass in possession up to a three point shot. Clark, yes! He's got another one. It's Dante Clark who scored the last nine UMass points. Driving again, Hines to the rim. Right handed finish off the glass and in. Back to back, driving hoops. Timeout, Florida State. So for the folks who made the drive down from Amherst, they are able to cheer for their Minutemen. The Atlantic 10 gets the better of the ACC. Quincy Ford, pass off the hands of Stahl and stolen by Clark. Dante with a three on two behind the back. And Isho with a right handed slam as he's fouled. Are you kidding me? My word, what an and one. Hines, alley -oop. Bergantino catches, lays it in softly without the dunk. Tyler's got four a season high. UMass by 21 for the first time. Begley on the other end, had it stripped. Anderson coming back, fakes the pass, banks it in himself. Another Northeastern timeout. Anderson with four. And now it's a 23-point lead and a blowout. Well, from time to time over the years, we've asked Coach Kellogg to put on his teaching cap for us and break down a key element to his team's success in the film room. So let's send it over to Coach now for some Chalk Talk presented by Office Depot, Office Max. Well, welcome back to my good friend, The Brain. I have my new shirt on for the holiday season and we're ready to roll. Today we're talking about my good buddy, Maxi Esho, and some of his dunks that have led to great plays and also get the crowd excited. Here we are in the TD Garden, Maxi relocating along the baseline. 
Nice power dunk for two. Here we are doing a good job on our press, which I thought changed the complexion of the game. Maxi taking off from one step inside the free throw line for a big time dunk. Here we are against Manhattan. Once again, working the baseline against the zone. Maxi with one of his power dunks, taking it baseline for the slam. Against Harvard, working the high post area one on one, take it to the rim and finish. And you'll see one more time, watch the great seal by Tyler Bergantino on the baseline. Maxi with a big time finish to get the crowd going and get our team going. And here he is off a nice driving feed with a big time emphatic slam to once again get the crowd going. And this is my favorite here on the run. Boom! Tomahawk dunk on the run. Put it on somebody. UMass takes the lead. Great job by Maxi. He's doing a nice job of finishing dunks off relocations, one on one from the high post. And as always, the front of our press, that excitement, that, that energy, that enthusiasm that leads to the Maxi Esho dunk. Oh boy, thanks coach. Well, the Minutemen are back at home here on Saturday, December 13th with a matchup against Canisius. And then after semester exams, a tough two game road trip leads them into the holidays at Providence and at BYU right before Christmas. Time to step aside for just a few moments. When we come back, we move to hockey and get a hometown tour of East Longmeadow from one of the team's impact players, checking out some of the finer spots in Western Mass. We'll be right back. Life. It's not measured by the breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Life is the unlimited possibilities all around us. It's the interesting people we meet, the epic places we see, the incredible memories we create. Life is always going on. All you have to do is choose to live it. Full of life, Mohegan Sun. forward-thinking insurance company with a global network. Providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family. Mafre Commerce Insurance. The first name in insurance for more than 1 million customers. Focused on taking care of you and your family. Providing freedom from worry everywhere you go. Mafre Commerce Insurance. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfasts, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, tented outdoors, or our own Renaissance house. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. The Mullen Center awakens. Anticipation builds. A sea of maroon unites. Be here for every big play. Maxi Esho ducks it in. For every slam dunk. For every game winning shot. Oh! Don't miss a moment. And how about that one? UMass Basketball. Get your tickets now. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back to the program. He was one of the biggest signings for UMass hockey in recent years. Sophomore Frank Vitrano, he came to Amherst from nearby East Long Meadow, Massachusetts. Well, the local product took our cameras with him on a tour of his hometown roots. Let's send it over to Frank. Hi everyone, I'm Frank Vitrano. I'm a sophomore on the UMass hockey team. I'm from East Long Meadow, Massachusetts. I'd like to give you guys a little tour on my hometown area. inside stick time right now and in, in one of the little mini hockey rinks they got here uh, there's two hockey rinks I don't know if you can see behind me but we got uh, two in here it's it's a smaller ice sheet so you get to work on stuff part of your game like you know like small area like uh, shooting in close like picking up pucks out of the corner you know I played hockey around here growing up for the Springfield picks and eventually I started playing hockey an hour away from the MMM Flames so I would travel an hour and a half to practice hour for games every day and you know it's nice to finally relax stay home and get ice really close to my house. I'm taking you to where I went to high school now, Cathedral High School. It was actually hit by a tornado, so I'm gonna take you there, see what it looks like now. Uh, I think it happened in, I think it was June 2011. 
I, uh, I moved out to Ann Arbor, Michigan, play hockey out there for a couple of years. So uh, I wasn't at the high school at the time, but uh, it's incredible to see like what this tornado actually done. You know, I know a bunch of my friends that play lacrosse, and we're ba like play I played baseball here, and uh, my friend was saying that everyone said to get inside because the tornado was coming through, and it just ripped right across. And the kids said you wouldn't even know that there was a tornado coming that was going to hit because it was like it looked like nothing was going to happen. It wasn't dark out or anything. All of a sudden, just like in the span of 15, 15, 20 minutes, it just came and destroyed everything in its path. What's up, G? Hey, What's up, guys. Mom? What's up? We just got hammered in here. We How are you? Oh, we yeah, just missed you in time. We're in Springfield again, uh, right down the road from my old high school. We're at Antonio's Grinders. This is uh, my dad's uh, pizza shop. Up? Hi, baby. What's up? Oh, we got the movie star today. Yeah. We got my dad here uh, putting pizzas away right now. Pizzas away, big order today. Yeah, and then they have Nicole. She's a really close family friend. She's making pizzas right now. Uh, pretty popular piece of food here, obviously. Uh, we got my mom hard at work, obviously, here in the back, cleaning stuff up. My tattoo, it says, uh, it says family forever in Italian, so uh, obviously that's something that is very important to me, family and whatnot. And uh, this, this resembles it too, like the family, is, my family's really close, you know. Uh, I have so many cousins and whatnot, and we all stay so close to one another. We're like brothers and sisters, all of us, and like I said, it's, uh, I'm very family oriented, and it's something that um, I really cherish, and I, it's great to have. I want to thank all of you for uh, watching and uh, taking a little tour on my hometown area. Uh, looking forward to seeing all the Mullins Maniacs in the upcoming season. Thank you so much, Frank. The Minutemen return to the ice for a rare midweek matchup coming up in the middle of the month. It'll be Tuesday, December 16th at the Mullins Center against Hockey East rival Northeastern. Hi, I'm Zach LaRue from the UMass hockey team. We're going to take a quick break, but when we get back, we're going to find out how some of my teammates got their Twitter handles. Life. It's not measured by the breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Life is the unlimited possibilities all around us. It's the interesting people we meet, the epic places we see, the incredible memories we create. Life is always going on. All you have to do is choose to live it. Full of life, Mohegan Sun. At this rate, you can get that new car. Low, low rates on auto loans. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. At Alden Credit Union, our home loans leave room in your budget for some fun. You can get the kitchen you want, have space for a new friend, and still afford a night out with old friends. At this rate, you can have it all. 2.49% APR on all home loans. Hotel UMass was voted the best hotel in Amherst. Situated on the beautiful University of Massachusetts campus, Hotel UMass is where you stay to be in the heart of it all. With 116 contemporary guest rooms, free wireless internet, room service, 36 meeting rooms, free parking, and in walking distance to downtown Amherst, Hotel UMass has it all. Center awakens. Anticipation builds. A sea of maroon unites. Be here for every big play. Max Yesho dunks it in. For every slam dunk. For every game winning shot. Oh! Don't miss a moment. And how about that one? UMass Basketball. Get your tickets now. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. 
Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. We're not going to make you wait any longer. It's time for the Alden Credit Union lighter side. Today we're delving into the realm of social media. It seems like everybody is on Twitter these days. So we decided to give some UMass athletes some extra followers. And we asked some Minute Men and Minute Women, what's your Twitter handle? Let's check out the answers. At Super T-Berg. It's just, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I got a I tweet. I actually tweet a lot. I like my tweets. They're pretty funny. Uh, my Twitter handle is Mike underscore Honcho 500. Mike Honcho 500. B Baxi 17. No, sorry, it's 18. I'm 17 now, but the 18 came from my junior number when I was playing hockey. At Mrs. Hooper 15. Follow me. Mrs. Hooper. Yeah, Mrs. I'm married to the game, so Mrs. Hooper. <laughs> At Lack 25. Lack LAC. Yeah, 25. Underscore 25. It's Krabby. Oh. Spell it. I T S. K-R-A-V-Y. They call me Krabby around the locker room. It's kind of short, so they don't have to say my full last name. What's the meaning behind Super T-Berg? I've kind of just really been into superheroes my whole life. So uh, just did that. Super T was like my nickname growing up as a kid that I had for myself. I uh, kind, of, kind of conceded. There has to be a story behind that. Well, um, I don't know if you've seen uh, the movie Ricky Bobby. Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights, yeah. Um, Cal Naughton Jr., Ricky Bobby's sidekick, calls himself uh, Mike Concho at one part. Really subtle. People will be looking for you on Twitter. They'll search the wrong number. Can you can you update it? Have you thought about changing your handle? Uh, no, I haven't thought about changing it. I feel like that's too much of a process. I'd lose all my followers. Not that I have many anyways, but... What a conundrum, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it really is. I actually had to switch mine because I changed the number to go on to college, so I switched it to 15, and that's how I got my. And you camp. lost all your followers, then. I did lose all my followers, but you know, I put it out on everywhere on Instagram and Facebook, all the other social medias to get my Twitter back up there. Explain the significance of Lack 25. Oh uh, well, it's really just short for Cadillac instead of um, I just put Lack. Because, you know, most of the coaches call me lack anyways. And after the 25s for the number 25. So why'd you put the it's in front of it? Uh, you know, it kind of just happened back at uh, in juniors, you know. Just kind of being the guy that, I, guy that I am. They, uh, you know, just some of the stuff that I do, they just be like, oh, it's crabby. So. <laughs> What's your follower situation? Uh, decent, yeah. decent. Uh, could be more. I mean, anybody could follow me. So, please do. I'd like to have a little more followers, get the, get the confidence up. You should have done shake and bake. Shake and bake, ah, uh, you know, maybe, maybe. That might have been taken. Yeah, probably, you know. Well, was it ever a thought when you got to UMass to ask for your old junior's number just so you didn't have to have this Twitter problem? I, I wanted my number 18, but not not for Twitter's sake. Uh, Zach LaRue has it now, and he's he's got seniority, so I, there's no point even asking. Give me a typical It's Krabby tweet. Like, what would you put out there from It's Krabby? Ah. Uh, Getting ready for the big game tonight. Let's get it, boys. Yeah, like welcome to the grind or something like that. You know, what's a post game tweet? Could be anything from you know, it's like a good job, guys, to a to a picture of me, you know, cropped on to LeBron's face or something like that. Like, oh, really? I, yeah. So, is this a popular Twitter handle? Like, you get a lot of followers because of this? Yeah, it does get um, it does it catches on in the locker room and everything. Like, so that. people actually call you Mike Concho? Yeah, every once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. By the way, you can follow us at UMass Sportsnet. That's it for our program. Our next new edition of UMass Sports Insider debuts on Saturday, December the 20th. It'll be our holiday spectacular. Until then, I'm Josh Maurer saying thanks for watching and have a great rest of your weekend. UMass Sports Insider is presented by Office Depot Office Max, Alden Credit Union, Mafre Commerce Insurance, Mohegan Sun, and Coca-Cola.